Hi everybody, my name is Christina and I have a channel called The Subfertile Frugalista here on YouTube and I am super excited to be joining Jessica and all of the other moms in the Embracing Motherhood um, series or collab I guess. Um, I was really uh, excited when Jessica asked me to join in with this but I also um, obviously it, it has made me kind of reflect on my own path to motherhood and uh, my own experience kind of becoming a mom and so I thought I would talk a little bit about that. So for those of you who don't know, I have two little girls. I have Wren who is three and a half and Piper is 10 months old, although I think she'll be closer to a year by the time this video goes live. Um, so two little girls and my husband and I did struggle with infertility both with Wren and with Piper and we also lost um, two little girls in between each of them. The process through infertility, I think, you know, I, I said through my entire journey of infertility, uh, which was about a three and a half year struggle to, to Ren, and then um, we, it was about a year and a half with Piper. And um, in particular, when we were trying to conceive our first child, I always remember saying that I knew that once I became a mom and once I held that baby, that everything would make sense. You know, that, that our loss would make sense, that our you know struggle and our journey would make sense because that was the exact baby that we were waiting for. And I do wholeheartedly believe that. Um, but I also think that the infertility journey that we went through um, solidified for me the desire to be a mom and um, it helped me in ways that I didn't realize at the time and I'm able to kind of look back and see now and the um, the first thought when um, when you get past the infertility journey for me was um, you know in thinking about my my embracing motherhood uh, my next thought was to my own relationship with my mom um, which is there is no relationship and um, kind of how that molded me as a mom um, in good ways and in not so good ways because I did have a mom um, she is living um, but she was in my life until early adulthood and um, is not and has never been in my life since my you know since becoming a mom or since trying to conceive um, I she has not been in, in my life and there are certainly things that I have done and have uh, wanted for myself and for my girls because of the relationship that I have with my mom but there are also a whole lot of um, struggles and questions um, that come up for myself as a mom because you know you question am I gonna have that um, maternal instinct am I gonna have that nurturing ability to um, to be a mommy you know and um, and I think I do, <laughs> I do, I think I do. Um, but I also know that there have been times when I have really had to check myself because I have, you know, I think one of the things that you can do when you have a kind of a not so great childhood or not so great relationship with your own parents is um, you can often go into two directions. And I always feared um, or, or was always conscious of not going into a certain direction and wanting to rise above my childhood and that upbringing, I guess. And um, what I did instead is create these incredible, um, almost unattainable expectations for myself and also now for my girls. And so that's something that I have had to really watch and, um, and check on a pretty consistent basis, in particular with our oldest daughter. Now, as my second little girl came along, I felt like I, I feel like I have been more um, confident in my own abilities as a mom and more confident in my own decisions and my, um, my you know, in, and more confident in being a good mom. Um, but I was constantly, when our first daughter was born, questioning myself, was I being a good mom? Was this the way that it should be done? Was I being enough, you know, nurturing enough, loving enough? Was I hugging and kissing on her enough? Was I giving her enough attention? Was I, you know, was I doing enough? Was I being enough? And, um, and I didn't know because I don't know what enough is. I don't know what that is, what, what a really good and positive and, um, 
healthy mother-daughter relationship is. And so that was something that was always a fear for mine, of mine. And I think my husband really helped and he was able to kind of look at it from the outside and say, you're doing great and reassure me. Um, but it's a constant struggle. And what I have seen since she has grown, now that she's three and a half, is that I, um, I, am, I do, it's easy to kind of put some of, you know, we all, I think, parent to our history. So whether that's good or bad, I think you try to adjust your parenting technique. But one of the things that I have done because of my, my childhood um, is I have put an expectation on my own children. And so I, growing up, even as a very, very, very little girl, I can remember just wanting someone to, um, to expect something of me, to have standards for me, to have... Um, expectations to to push me and to hold me accountable for things and that didn't happen and so as a result of that I have because that was something that I yearned for so much as a kid I think I have um, as a parent pushed that onto my own child and so it's something that I do have to check um, if I'm being very honest I have to make sure that I um, that I am keeping present and, and letting her be herself and not um, having those influences of my past kind of direct my parenting. I think that there are really good things that can come from having your past um, affect your parenting or influence your parenting, but there's also sometimes that, um, that not so good stuff that can come. Um, and for me, that is, um, that is having that expectation that is just a little bit too high. Thankfully, I have an amazing little girl, so she far exceeds any expectation I would ever have of a little girl anyway, but I do have to be sure that I am conscious of not um, not putting more pressure on her than I should because it was pressure that I wanted when I was a little girl, if that makes sense. I hope it doesn't sound like I'm like this tyrant mom because I, I definitely don't think I am, but I, I think it's just a process of um, those things that I wanted as a little girl and as an, a young adult and as a, you know, and as a teenager, things that I wanted for myself um, that I didn't get and so I'm really as a parent wanting to do that for my daughter. I have two girls and so I I feel the weight of the world um, You know, I feel a true responsibility to raise confident and strong and um, intelligent and um, You know and, and kind girls I have you know, I have that on my shoulders and I want to do that and so yeah, that is kind of my, I, 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 that's just kind of what I thought of when I, when I, when she said, when Jessica said to think about, you know, what embracing motherhood has been to me, uh, embracing motherhood has been, you know, overcoming the infertility and wanting my little girl so badly. And, you know, one thing that I've also said through our struggle is that, um, in particular with having girls, I want them to know their worth and I want them to know, um, how very much their dad and I wanted them we waited for them we prayed for them um, they were our dreams come true they both were and so that is a, a message that I will forever share with my girl and I hope that that message can be carried through in everything that they do and in, in our relationship and everything that the two of us or the three of us do together because um, because I feel like it's really important for any child and I think it's really important in particularly for girls so I think that's what embracing motherhood has been to me. Um, I um, I do have high expectations for my girls, but I'm, I'm um, constantly aware of myself and making sure that that's not unrealistic, um, that it's not um, unfair. You know that the expectations I have for them are not unfair. They're just um, they're just high, and that's okay. I think it's okay to have high expectations of our children. That is just kind of my honest evolution to becoming a mama. I love it so much. I think the world of my little girls and I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be more proud. And it is just amazing. It's just amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed. I wish everybody the best of luck, whether you're trying to conceive, whether you're a mama already and sometimes question yourself and sometimes don't think you're doing as good a job as you should be. Just remind yourself that you are um, because I have to do that on a daily basis. So um, I will uh, look forward to watching everyone else's videos and I hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for watching. Bye.